Good afternoon, Giant uh, 3591. 17 8 descending via the link, and we have Sierra. Five ninety one heavy. There is a little bit of light. Well, now it's showing a little bit of heavy, light to heavy precipitation just west of it looks like van, and it is moving eastbound. So once you get in closer, if we need to go vectors around it, we'll we'll be able to accommodate that. Ninety one heavy using approach. Well, if you pick up an ELT um, at all uh, ahead, if you would. Thirty one negative ELT. Have a good day. You got a 1788 uh, safe flight conditions there? That's 1788 where I am see uh, probably moderate drop. You know, 1788. Yeah, Ron, there's still a lot of unanswered questions out here. Now, the sheriff says witnesses describe that plane as flying very low and then taking a nosedive into the bay with a huge plume of water. Now, all of that is about a mile away from here. Now, the newest information, as you said, is the sheriff just announced that they have found human remains, but at this point, he will not confirm how many fatalities that is. They believe there were three people on board, but he says they want to be absolutely certain. Now, as you can see from this video, there is not much left of that plane. What we have learned from FAA is the plane was a Boeing 767, a cargo aircraft that was coming from Miami to Houston. It was only about 30 miles away from its destination when something happened, something went wrong. They say they lost radar and radio frequency with the plane, and that's when the FAA sent an alert to Atlas Air, who is the operator of the plane. Uh, we have not found any of the uh, black boxes yet. We do expect that they should be able to be recovered. I told you that I did not expect that there was anybody that could survive the, uh, the aircraft accident. Um, and as of now, we have found some human remains. Well, along with Chambers County Sheriff's Department, so many agencies are out here investigating, including the FBI and the NTSB. They will be out here tomorrow morning starting their investigation. Now, we're told all the crews who have been out on the water have been leaving the debris where they is. They're finding the debris, but they're leaving it exactly where it is because the NTSB is going to come in tomorrow and they're going to start their investigation. But what they're doing is they're setting up buoys around the area to keep it from drifting anywhere and trying to keep that area contained so the NTSB doesn't have it. Yeah, these guys said they were at home outside when they heard that plane coming down. They looked up into the sky and saw it just above the treetops and they saw it go down below the trees and then they heard that loud crash. I mean, there's not much of a plane left to tell that it's actually an airplane. Uh, there's packages, clothes, shoes, this stuff floating everywhere. Backpacks, uh, you name it, it was floating. Now, these men are boat mechanics and were awarded for the hundreds of local rescues they performed during Hurricane Harvey. They were discouraged. There was nothing they could do to help today. They say the marsh was so shallow and soft, the plane was just essentially swallowed by all of that mud. One other point uh, that's worthy of making is something that these guys said. They said it's just almost miraculous that this plane actually crashed into the water as opposed to some residential areas. From where we stand right now, we're only about a mile from the center of town. I was in my car and I saw, like, I just see a plane, like, going straight down. And I told my mom, I was like, Mom, there was a, there's a plane coming down. It's going to crash. We got to go, like, see something. And I just, I don't know. I'm sorry, go ahead. You said you were sitting in the car and you told your mom you saw 
I saw just a plane, a huge cargo plane, just going head head first to like in like by the park over there, um, in the water, and I just saw it, and it just I don't I don't it it was crazy. Oh my god! So it's just dawning on me that you actually like saw yes. it happen, like actually. Oh my gosh! Okay, so what? went through your head at that point when you saw that? I, I don't, I was just like, it, it, cause it never happens around here. You never, no, no one sees that. And you just see, randomly, you just see a plane going straight down and it's just sad for the people that were in there. Yeah, exactly. So was it like, what was the noise um, you all heard? Was it loud? Could you it hear was, anything It was all? like a thunder. Yeah, like when, it, as soon as it hit like the ground, it was like thunder, kind of, and because the clouds were there, they were up here, and they were, it was just sounded like thunder. Wow. So, were you all like at the park, just, just a day at the park? Or no, something, or? we were, we were, um, we were at like a restaurant, about to like get out of the car, and I just, I saw it then, and it, I just, it was huge. Oh my gosh. Um. So is the restaurant like close or something? Like, it's, yeah, it's, it's about three blocks, but y'all can see it still. Yes. Oh yeah. Yeah. Feel like something like a movie because you see these type of things in a movie. Okay. So did you think like, oh my gosh, this is like a movie coming to life? Yes, I was. I, for some reason, I just thought like, I don't know. I just thought it was like in a dream or something because it just like never. Nobody sees that just happen randomly like, in real life like. And it was, it, yeah, it was like a movie, like. So, like, what are your emotions like right now after witnessing something like that? It was really sad and just crazy, and I feel like really bad for the families and the people that were in the crack, the plane crash. So, we were at the local Mexican restaurant getting out of the vehicle. Um, I was getting my toddler out and I saw clouds, I knew there was clouds, and I heard something so loud and I was like, what, what on earth is that? And, and I actually think I said it out loud because that's when my son was like, mom, I just saw a plane go down. And I was like, what, what do you mean that a plane went down? What are you talking about? And I'm looking, trying to see if I can see anything, but of course I, I, I didn't, but we um, we ended up not eating, and we went down to the one of the pumping stations that's a block over from where we were at, and um, there was already people coming from every which way. I guess they everyone heard it, and um, couldn't see anything. Um, we ended up in a backyard um, on this back half of town. Um, he saw a classmate, a basketball player uh, that he plays with. And we were like, did anyone see anything? And no, we still couldn't see anything, but um, followed the traffic to the park. And um, of course, emergencies coming in, they're coming from everywhere. Um, we finally saw Coast Guard coming in. And um, from what we were told from the police officer down there that there was just wreckage everywhere. Um, of course, we're far out above the hill to stay out of the way, but we just couldn't see anything. We had heard that they had found uh, parts of the fuel out there. Um, I've actually got a friend, her son was out there in his airboat hunting at the time. So he was out there helping them um, try to locate if it, any survivors. So um, it's crazy because it's like he said, this definitely never happens. We're a very small town and I've never seen anything like this in my life. And it was definitely crazy to hear that there was an air, airplane crash because initially we thought it was a big 200 passenger. And um, I was thinking, oh my gosh, how are they gonna get all of those people out of there? What, what are they gonna do? And it wasn't, it's unfortunate for the 
three or four people, but I'm glad there wasn't more involved. Um, it's definitely something that we never experience, and I just, I, prayers for the families involved, because that's, uh, I couldn't imagine. So, Sorry, I talk a lot. <laughs> I mean, this seems to be a you look toward her. Okay. So this appears to be like a you know emotional subject for you as you think about this, think about that a little bit. Yeah. I just you think about you hear about stories about these planes going down and people losing family members and although I mean I I think to me it's considered like a rare event that it happens, but it hitting so close to home, it, that just, I mean, this is, this is my home. And it, this is a very, very small town and we're very, very close knit. And when something tragic happens, the whole town comes together. And I just, I, I feel really bad for the families because I would not want to get that phone call whatsoever. Absolutely not, it's horrible. Anything else we're missing, right? You want to say or add to this? Uh, no. Um, I did hear that on this back side, um, another guy that was at the park, he was telling me that what, someone that he spoke to saw the plane hit some trees and it actually blew down a shed. And then the plane kind of went down and then it came straight up and went back down, and I guess that's when Daniel saw the plane going nose down. And it's still blowing my mind. <laughs>